Welcome to the latest edition of the Newman Motor. Finally, I have something worthwhile to actually talk about and not just play another song. This is a 2.6 watt motor. 2.6 watts. For some perspective, I'm going to get this sheet of paper, this homework, okay, I had, alright. Now, compared to size, I can even... That's how strong it is, okay? I took the paper, tried to stick it in the fan, and it basically kicked the paper. This paper is actually several sheets, okay? Now, uh, let's see. We have this uh, thing, receipt. This is a test I usually do to test the FSC of the wind. Now, I put this here. Now, you can easily see I proved this thing very much. Even as far out as here, there's an angle. Okay, I let go. You see, I've already went far. Now, if I turn it at an angle like this, see, it's already trying to move. Let's do it again. Okay, flat, move. Okay. Okay, see how that happened? This is a 2.6 watt motor, according to this multimeter. 2.6 watts. Now, how would, did I calculate that? Now, let's say we did trust the multimeter and what it measured, okay? Now, this is the amps, Y. First of all, it says 0 0.0 something, what Y. I have it at the 20 amp setting for DC. Here's the off position at the bottom left corner. Now, moving, okay? This section of two things here, the one on the top, is the 20 amp setting for AC. The one below is the 200 milliamp setting, which works for the plug between this red one and the black one. What, or, but uh, this thing I never use anymore because it's fuse breaks and it doesn't accept enough high voltage. So I use a DC for 20 amp setting, which is used as this. Now, you see it's going from up to 0.06 down to on, and so on. So basically, it has a ceiling of 0 0.06 amps. Okay, amps. Because this is a 20 amp setting. Now, even if I turn this voltmeter off, this thing still runs. Why? Because this red thing is still connected here. Okay? Now, we're going to study this thing. Instead of, uh, well, let's see. Let's stop this by hand. No. Let's take this out first. Alright. Now that it turns off. Now we can observe the rotor. As you can see, I beefed up the rotor. Okay. Added some more Neos here. Uh, used some of the old ring magnets I had over there. Added a lot more, uh, ceramic magnets. Sort of like a rectangular thing. And I put the stronger magnets where the radius is greater, so it get get more torque. And I created new fan blades because the old ones got worn out. And these are smoothly curved, so it helps to get the fan to run faster. And I use less tape to hold it together just to make it better. Now, again, this is a ribbon cable right here. This is another ribbon cable. Two stacked on top of each other. The uh, wires are connected in series. Now, I only got 10 minutes to say things. So, got all these batteries. Now, we're going to connect this thing over here. Alright? Now, we make sure this is connected to that and so on. Then, we'll move it here. Now, it doesn't show anything. This is supposed to be the voltage with one decimal point. Right now, the voltage is 87.3, 87.3 volts.